Mio, welcome to a restaurant. What would you like to order? Hello! Hmm. What about a game on a 620 tablet? No problem, $30, please. Oh, thank you so much. Hmm. <coughs> Meow and welcome not to a restaurant but to this tablet review. Gamon asked me to do a review of the news tablet again and this time it's a special one, even if it doesn't seem like that at first glance. Let's actually see what's in there. While I'm unboxing, I'll talk about the tablet's functionality and at the end you can watch me drawing while talking about the pro and con of this tablet. Also, I'll try it on multiple devices, which is pretty interesting. Here, as always, we have the Emerald Packaging Happy Environmental Friendly Amazon Carton. Great, Thunberg is definitely proud of you. At the top, there is the tablet itself. Even if it's so small, it supports 8192 pressure levels. But honestly, from 3000 or higher, you don't even really notice the difference anymore. So there's probably not that much of a big change. Still, it makes your lines look better and gives you more control. It also has a high pen resolution of 5080 LPI, which is almost double as much as the Wacom Intus S, just for comparison. The working area is 6.5 x 4 inches big and has a nice texture, actually the best I know so far. By the way, this picture is not accurate, because no, it doesn't look that big and is way smaller, as you can see. You have four express keys up here and can change their functionality in the tablet driver. This is the signal output, which is micro USB. It's easy, just plug it in and you can start drawing, animating or sculpting. By the way, if you shake the tablet, you can hear some sounds which come from the express keys because they're a bit loose. I don't know about you, but they make pretty loud clicking sounds, which I personally like. But some people might feel like it's something cheap. Now, it looks pretty thin, being only 8mm high and it only weighs about 250 gram, so like a package of butter. I had an internship for a week in a graphics design company and always took it with me so you can carry it in pretty much anything. But what's the book what you really like? Now you should actually not do it, it's really not recommended but let's ban it. I mean, who would do this to their own baby? So as you can see, it's table for normal use, but if you ban it this could happen. The bottom area goes off especially on the shorter sides, but to be honest, I always want to know how it looks like inside. Also on the bottom, in each corner, is drawn rubber to support the stability and prevents slipping all across the table. Underneath it, digging even deeper into the mine, we have the cable and a glove. I love the glove because I always wanted to have one and now my biggest dream came true. Anyways, I think it's not necessary when using this tablet because of its texture. So sweat doesn't stick to it well, which is also very good. And I must say that this glove was not made for left hand users, rest in peace. I mean, you can still wear it, but if you want to flex that hot game on logo, you gotta be a right hanger. It's still a nice idea, since for the price of only about 30 years, you get so much extra stuff. Then we'll find a chest filled with iron and plastic. Here we have one pen and eight pen nibs and a pen nib remover in case it wears off. If it does, it will scratch the surface and, you know, protect the child. The pen has two buttons, all customizable, and there is no erase on the back. For the pen buttons, I recommend setting the upper one to right click and the other one to space tab. It's really helpful when you want to move across the canvas and so far I didn't have any tablet or pen which was able to adjust to this setting. Thanks for the latest technology, we don't need anything like charging the pen anymore because it's battery free. That's also why it's so lightweight. Honestly, as I said in other videos before, I prefer heavier pens, but that's alright. Most artists like to hold lightweight pens. You can hold it well because the part around the new buttons is made of rubber. I also like the pen case. I already have a pen nib case by another tablet and this just fits perfectly. You can use it anytime as long as you have a connection to a supporting device like a Mac with macOS 10.12 or above or a Windows PC with Windows 7 or above or, this is the special part, an Android phone with Android 6 or higher. Now, your built-in Apple phone is not broken, it just won't work, which is interesting because usually Apple gets everything first when it comes to apps or other features. 
There is a function called OTG, which basically allows the tablet to control your Android phone. Usually it's already enabled and the phone doesn't need to be rooted. I use it on both Windows and Apple. The driver download and activation is really easy on Windows, but I had big issues doing that on the Apple Mac. I don't know, maybe because I'm an Apple noob, but still it's very complicated and could be much easier. On the internet, I didn't really find anything helpful and had to read multiple articles. So if you're having issues with downloading the drive on your Mac, you could ask me because I found it out. So here we have the OTG adapters, two of them for USB 3.1C, so for the latest phones and micro USB OTG adapter. Gosh, such a virgin. They can also be used on the phone and your computer keyboard and mouse, even if it's Bluetooth. I tested it on multiple Android devices and one thing you need to do is connecting. But if you have a look on the website, you notice that the cable looks much shorter than it actually is. It's actually pretty long and depending on your working space, it could get in your way. For example, I have a keyboard right in front of it and I have to squeeze it somewhere underneath or so. My children don't believe everything you see in ads. One thing I like about this cable though is the velcro fastener to roll up the cable. Very good idea. As soon as you connect this tablet to a computer or phone, the LED lamp in the triangle on the A of the Game On logo will be activated. If the pen comes close to the surface, the orange intensifies. Orange is Game On's brand color, that's why. Actually, a mouse cursor should appear on the screen, but I don't know what problem Samsung has. The weirdest thing is, I tried something out. I connected my Samsung phone to a different tablet with this cable. This tablet is not made for being used with mobile devices and it didn't work properly, but this time it actually showed a cursor. So there is some real issue here with the cursor unless you use it on a Samsung Note device. There you can see the little dot on the screen which also shows up when you use the Samsung Note stylus if you activate it in, in your settings. It even works on my old Note 2, which is like Android 4.4 or so. So yeah, that's really weird. And I'm not the only one having this issue. Even GameOn doesn't know what the problem is and heh, Samsung doesn't want to comment on that. Now, I won't draw anything on any phone because it's hard for me to get used to it, especially if I can just use my computer to work on. So still, here I'll show you how well it works in programs like Medium and Paint, Ibis Paint X, Painter or Flip a Clip using free Samsung phones, one LG phone and Asus phone. Sorry, I rocked my whole family. As you can see, it works really well and depending on your app, it also supports many pressure levels. You can only draw on the left half of your tablet because it has to adjust to your phone screen size. The only problem I'm having here is Flip a Clip. If I use it, which doesn't happen too often, I turn my phone around to have a bigger canvas, but if you do that here, the working area on your tablet won't turn around. You can turn around the tablet. I tried everything and it's impossible. You can use flip a clip only when holding the phone like this. On the computer, I'll show you the real world now, the driver settings. It works in any program. In Sai, you have to change something though. Sai never worked with any of my tablets, but I found out the solution. If your screen freezes as long as you have Sai opened, you can go to Options, under Others, and to Digitize a Support. I recommend setting the click detection pressure below 50 or even nil. If you have 100, it's digitized, so tablet won't be recognized by Sai. To demonstrate the pen pressure, I scribble a bit inside before switching to Medibam Paint and draw a character from Haspen Hotel. So I've watched the pilot and chose this character from a background. I just think she looks pretty. I won't comment much on the pilot because yes, it has its flaws, but to be honest, it gets more heady than it deserves. 
especially for the mistakes some artists working on it made in the past. Many people also believe stuff which is not even true and don't look out for any solid evidence. Like I've seen someone asking, yo, show me your sources for that accusation and they seriously said, haha, lol, which source? I am the source, I know it. Like how, how dumb must you be? However, for a YouTube project, it's an original idea and you don't find that stuff often on YouTube. You can see that the animators love working on that and I think it's pretty good. Also, some people who don't understand shit about animation or the characters just rant about it, call it a review. But a review should also point out the positive stuff. But instead, they call you retarded if you think some jokes are good, like... Humor is different and just because you think it's not funny There's always something which could be done better and which is good and positive That's why I'm going to summarize now what I think is good and not so good about this tablet as well So let's go First I talk about the positive stuff I like the simple design of the tablet and how well it responds to pen pressure It can even be used on big screens Tablet is lightweight, won't slip across your desk, and can be used on the go, even on your phone. When you're on vacation, for example, the size is just right and it looks kinda cute, <laughs> which means you don't have to move your hand too far, so working with it is comfortable, especially because of the awesome texture. The pen is lightweight and good to hold and it doesn't even need to be charged. You can use it on Windows, Mac and most outstanding on your Android phone or tablet. This means even artists who can't afford expensive programs or a computer and a tablet can create digital art with a pen. I also like the extra stuff like the glove or the pen case and the two adapters. Overall, I like the added extras and for such a low price it's pretty amazing. And you can't expect such things by brands which sell much more expensive stuff. For example, some big tablets by Wacom aren't delivered with a stand and you have to buy that thing extra. It's easy to connect because it's only one simple USB cable. Driver settings options are good, but I wish there was something like shortcuts for different programs. As we know, products from Adobe are made on different planets with different shortcuts each time. Sure, you can change the settings in the programs, but this option in the driver would be great too. And with that, we come to the contra, to the bad stuff, or oh, not so good stuff. Cable is pretty long and can get in your way. Maybe some people would say that it feels like a cheap slate of plastic or that the buttons are loud, but I don't think so. As long as you don't do an experience like bending it, it's alright. I think this feeling can also be caused by the tablet's lightweight in general. Pen nips wear off faster than on my other pens, like I only used this one for about a month and I can already see that the tip is not the same. It also has big cursor issues on Samsung devices, which I don't understand since my computer mouse and a different tablet, which was not even made for that use, showed the cursor. Downloading the driver on a Mac is way too complicated and unexperienced users would get confused easily. I am lucky because I'm experienced, but even this time it was pretty hard. And if we talk about Mac, Apple users are unlucky because they can't use the tablet on their phones. However, even on Windows it had some problems. Every time I turn on the computer, I have to click on the driver first and connect or disconnect the tablet sometimes, because it won't be recognized as a tablet and the cursor would look like a um, little star and the express keys wouldn't work as well. It's not the biggest problem, but it can get annoying because I turn off my computer pretty often and sometimes you also have to run the driver as an administrator. Conclusion, it's a great tablet with awesome functionality and features, especially for that price. But then you also have to deal with some connectivity issues and if you're having a Samsung cursor issues. So if you have a Samsung which is not a Note, really don't buy it. Maybe it does solve this problem in the future, but for now it doesn't look too good. But if you're using it on a computer, there won't be any cursor issues and you can experience the great texture and pen pressure while drawing. So guys, that was my honest opinion on this tablet. I've been using it for months now because I'm very busy. Or, well, I, I'm a lazy ass. All the links for further information or for buying the tablet 
are in the description in case you're interested. Guys, thank you so much for watching and for 450 subscribers. If you want to see more animations and speed paints, then yeah, just click that button. And if you enjoyed this video, a pop up would be really help my channel growing because it's dying. <laughs>